if you either have four or five slices of bread and a few other ingredients in the house, you can easily make this bread chili manchurian. This bread recipe is quite simple and easy to prepare, offering a delicious twist on traditional manchurian. Enjoy a flavorful dish with a minimal effort and common household ingredients. You need cooking oil, one carrot, two tomatoes, one onion, five slices of bread, one tablespoon of margarine, a pinch of salt, turmeric, and finally coriander. First of all, let us start things off by preparing our one onion, one carrot. To start off, let's peel our onion and cut off both ends. On our chopping board, Use a sharp knife to slice it in half, from top all the way to the bottom. Then make thin, even slices, not big, not small, just even. For finer texture, you can also dice the onion by cutting it into smaller cubes. Next, we'll focus all our attention to the carrot. Let's take it, then we'll peel it. And finally, trim off both ends using a peeler, a, a potato peeler, any peeler. Even if you have a carrot peeler, grate the carrot into thin shreds. Grating the carrot will give a finer texture and allow it to cook more quickly and evenly as possible. Once the onion and carrot are prepared, Set them aside in separate bowls, or you can even put them in one bowl, ready to be added to our final dish. If you have not yet subscribed, I highly recommend that you do so. Make sure that you also hit the notification bell to stay updated with all of Almasi's latest videos. By subscribing, you will never, and I mean never, miss out on any new content, exciting recipes, or helpful tips. Your support means a lot to us and helps us continue creating great videos for you to enjoy. Don't miss out. So, this is your time. Subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay. Now with the onions and carrots out of the way, we can now focus all our attention to the slices of bread. First of all, start by laying out the slices of bread on the cutting board. Using a sharp knife, cut them as evenly as possible into any desired shape of your choosing, whether you prefer squares, triangles, or even strips. This will definitely ensure that the bread pieces cook as uniform. If you're making crotons or bread sticks, aim for a consistent size for even toasting. Once cut, arrange the pieces as neatly on a plate or a servet ready to be used in our dish. 
properly prepared bread pieces will absorb flavors as better and provide a delightful texture to our recipe, enhancing that the overall dining and food experience. Also, before I forget, do not hesitate to let me know where exactly you're watching from. Leave us a comment below and I'll make sure, I will definitely make sure to give you a shout out in the next video. I mean, your support really means a lot to us and I would love to acknowledge all our amazing viewers from all over the world. So drop a comment and stay tuned for a special mention. It is finally cooking time. To start things off, in a non-stick pot, add one tablespoon of margarine and melt it all over over medium heat. Once melted, add the slices of bread and heat them accordingly for about a minute. Also, allow them to absorb the margarine and get lightly toasted, not heavily, not burnt. Stir occasionally to ensure even toasting. Then we can pour the toasted bread into a bowl. Using the same, same, same pot that we just used, let us make a flavorful fry sauce. Begin by pouring in a tablespoon of cooking oil. Let it heat for about 30 seconds to a minute over medium heat. Once the oil is hot, add, up, add the prepared onions and carrots. Stir them occasionally allowing the vegetables to cook until they become golden brown, releasing their natural sweetness and flavors into the pot. Once the onions and carrots reach a golden brown flavor, it's that time to add in your tomatoes. For me, I'll obviously use my frozen tomato paste. But if you have fresh tomatoes, dust them as finely as possible. If you're using if you're using frozen tomato paste, like me, add it as directly into the pot. Stir the tomatoes with the sauteed vegetables, combining them thoroughly. Next, season the mixture with just a pinch of salt to enhance the flavors. Mm. Add a teaspoon of turmeric for its vibrant color and earthy taste. Add a teaspoon of coriander, spiced coriander, for its aromatic citrus notes. Mm -hmm. Crumble a beef single cube into the pot to infuse the sauce with its rich savory depth. Stir everything well to ensure the spices and seasonings are evenly distributed all over, all around the pot.
it is very very important to bring the sauce to a gentle boil and let it cook for approximately three or so minutes this process will allow the flavors to melt together and help the sauce to thicken just lightly make sure to stir occasionally to prevent the sauce from sticking to the pan and ensure even cooking by doing this you'll achieve a well balanced and perfectly textured sauce for your dish once the sauce has developed a harmonious blend of flavors and has thickened to your liking it is that time to add the chunks of toasted bread pieces Carefully stir them into the sauce, slowly and perfect. Make sure each of the piece is well coated with the rich aromatic mixture. That is the sauce. Allow the bread to soak up the sauce for another minute or two, ensuring they are fully infused with the delicious flavors. The stir fry dish with bread pieces is ready to be served. Enjoy this flavorful dish as a satisfying meal on its own or as a taste accompaniment to your favorite main course. Mm. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that enjoy this unique and flavorful dish as a satisfying meal on its own or as a tasty side to a complement of your favorite main course. It is rich in a taste and delightful texture that make it a versatile addition to your dining experience. And there you have it, a plate of the best bread chili manchurian with just 5 slices of bread and a handful of ingredients that can be found in the house. You can whip a tasty, easy and affordable recipe. Enjoy this delicious dish that combines simplicity with fantastic flavor. <laughs>